First of all, can we talk about the kings in the house? Yes, another Elvis t-shirt. I can't get enough. Hi guys, and welcome to a new video. Today's video is going to be one of those ones where I sit here and chat, but most importantly do a full on makeup look. And today is going to be extra special because it was highly requested that I do a night on the town look, but one specifically for all drugstore products. So I just got back from shopping from Rite Aid, our local drugstore, and I bought just everything face to cheek to eye to lip of drugstore things. Like I said, this is gonna be a very long, very chatty video. While I'm doing this makeup look, I will list each product as I'm going so you can follow along. This might be a little different, but I start off lately with oil absorbent sheets. I don't know why, I just feel like it helps. I don't really know if it's true, but we'll just see. And I'm going to start off with the topic of today's video. If you do not like action movies, Girl, I'm sorry about your life, but I'm going to be talking specifically about one action movie in general. I want to talk about things that I really care about and I hope most of you care about because it is about a movie that is of one of the best qualities of our generation in this year, even though it's barely halfway through the year. It is the movie Mad Max I recently saw in theaters. Tom Hardy's in it, Charlize Theron, it's just great stuff. George Miller directed it and I think he's in his 70s and it's just so crazy and motivates me so much that someone at that age could actually go on and keep doing what they love and making some things happen, great things of creativity in the mind. Look how pretty. Oops, the little thingy fell out. We don't need it, the little sponge tip applicator. Listen, the movie Mad Max was such an inspiring, amazing movie. It made me want to like, just create everything I've ever thought of lately. Just anything I love and feel passionate about, I wanna create it, and if anything else gets away, I just wanna throw it out. This movie is great for all audiences, well, not children, of course, but what I mean is, Mad Max is one of those movies that's great for all people that speak different languages, because there's not that much dialogue going on, but it's such a captivating movie. There's so many great things in it and about it. Like they could show that in Japan, in Germany, everyone will understand universally how great this movie is because it's just so good. I'm gonna try to go about this without giving away too much about the movie, but basically it's this guy named Mad Max. I think it was a reboot from an older movie, or maybe the second one. I'm not quite sure. I just know it's amazing and great. It's kind of like the end of the world type situation, and they live in like this desert area, and I went to go see it specifically for the makeup, and of course it inspired me to do more makeup. We'll talk about that later, but Nicholas Holt is in it. Good stuff. Ladies and guys who are into warm bodies or were a fan of that movie, he's not that recognizable in this movie at all. He has these great scarifications, which I was so impressed that it wasn't like creasing or anything because he moves so much. And like, it's about the end of the world. They live in this desert and they have to keep all of their supplies at a minimum. And they are controlled by one ruler who's like mutated. And they all have like their supplies of water and food very checked on. And Charlize Theron plays one of the most amazing, influential, like, badass, kicks butt type female character, which I love. We're trying to do a smoky eye without it falling all onto her face. This L'Oreal palette is a little bit chalky, and well not chalky, too powdery for my preference, but we're gonna try to make it work and just hope and pray to Oprah and Ellen. But Mad Max, oh my gosh, it like took my breath away. It was non-stop action. I know that sounds like I am advertising the movie and I'm getting paid, uh, so not the case. And you hear that in a lot of trailers for action movies, but this one, just blows everything else out of the water. This is the most crazy action movie I've ever seen and the director's wife helped cut the movie and it was like edited like none other. Anyone who edits anything, even if you edit a YouTube video, you will appreciate it. Let me get my hair out of my face, I just realized that. Okay, I'm really trying to think of what about this movie I could tell you without giving away too much. So, there are different types of people and species of humans in this movie, which sounds really crazy and weird, but it happens. So there's one of them that Nicholas Holt is where they not feed off of other humans, but they live off of them and they use their blood in like vital things. That's the only thing that really got to me. I'm into gore and all that stuff, but things under skin really get to me and they had to do IV tra and blood transfusions in a lot of the movie, which was the only thing I got screamish about. Screamish, squeamish, but I still loved it. 
I like getting scared though. I love how I'm talking about one of the craziest, most violent action movies of our time while I'm doing a makeup video. I don't know what that says about me, if I'm all there in the head, but like I said, Nicholas Holt is um, this type of character where they have this type of infection looking thing on them, which was amazing in my opinion, because I was just looking at it from a makeup standpoint. He had boils on his body and he even had like little faces drawn onto his boils and he named them and I love things like that because I love characteristics of people even in real life where they have something different about them that's not like others. Let's move on to the foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me. I've heard great things about this. Let's see if it actually lives up to standard. Woo, that's a lot. Oops. I hope this is my color. I get the whitest of the white or the second to the whitest of the white and just cross my fingers, ask all my friends. Oh, it actually, it actually works. This has a scent to it. It's like baby powdery with mixed with lotion. Baby powder and lotion mixed together. So back to Mad Max. There are women in this movie and the only one of them Furiosa that's played by Charlize Theron. I mean, she just kicks butt and she has different quirks about her that I love and I'm not gonna give away because it's gonna give away too much of the movie. There's no real romance in it, but there are women in it that are beautiful. It looks like supermodels were made to be actresses. I know one of the girls that were one of the beautiful women was Lenny Kravitz's daughter. And I mean, she was gorgeous. And they all wear these white outfits and they are like head breeding women. There's this master guy who has like the best coolest looking mask and he uses the women to uh make babies just the prettiest ones he saves them for himself and greedy and creepy this is actually i could see why people were hyping this up a little goes a long way you can see i wait put way too much let's make sure it goes down the neck oh those eyeshadows definitely stand out more now that my face looks ghastly white. Now in the movie, there's some slight little bits of parts of it that's like, oh, I didn't expect that. And there's this one character who plays the guitar and he's so hilarious and ooh, this is nice. I like it. This is supposed to be a dupe for the NARS Creamy Concealer. We'll just see about that. I should have done one eye and I'll just like dab the whole entire package on my eye each time because I go crazy, as you know, with concealer from watching me for a while. And can we talk about Tom Hardy in this movie? Whew. First of all, barely speaks, that's fine, but just how he kicks butt and there's different things in this movie that's not explained but you're not left like really angry at some movies you know some movies just like leave you on the edge of the cliff and don't pick up the plot or finish it this one seems like it's going to do that but then you're not butthurt about it sorry i need your water i am liking this concealer though where were we tom hardy he had so much going on to him. He's like one of those main characters where you kind of relate to. I know it's really hard to relate to a guy who looks that attractive and is that masculine even for girls, but I feel like all guys and girls could relate to this character, especially in this movie, because he goes through so much. Like it kind of relates to people in life when they have to go through so many things. And not only him, but a lot of people in the movie, they are trying to find salvation and a lot of people in life, I feel like, are trying to find that. Just some sort of little bit of happiness. This stuff, I just like the packaging. Not really. Well, yes, I did like the packaging. But what I like is, is that it's not shimmery. And it's a cool tone bronzer. I'm not into warm tone bronzers. Because I don't want to look like the sun just baked the side of my face to a warm chocolate brown. I want it to look like a taupe natural shadow. And this was the closest thing. It's really hard to find cool tone matte bronzers in the jar. Ooh, look at this. Okay, there's that. And then there's the brush and a mirror. So fancy. I think this was some bit of money, but it feels worth it. Oh, this doesn't look that cool tone when I open it. What the heck? Okay, with the shadow and how it's packaged, it looks cool tone, but when you open it, we'll just have to see what happens with my life after I put this on my face. Back to the amazing movie. The makeup in here, I have to say, whoever did it is Simply the best, better than all the rest. <laughs> better than anyone. I have to stop singing in these videos. 
special effects standpoint from school, the amount of school I took, and you know I look at things like that, you could totally tell that there's some things that weren't makeup done, like there's amputated arms and there's bald caps going on, the amputated parts were computerized and they weren't like prosthetics, which I was hoping for. I'm pretty sure they're computerized. I could be wrong, but just by judging from the movie, they looked computerized. Come on, girl. And those bald caps. Okay, Nicholas Holt, he might have shaved his head. He's just that intensive actor, I have a feeling. I mean, a good face to look at, but I have a feeling he really gets dedicated to whatever script he goes on. We need to contour them cheeks a little bit more. Get Nicholas Holt skinny. But there is bald caps on the other types of species of humans, kind of, where they have the boils and stuff. The boils were amazing. They are so big, and they were crinkly. I couldn't see any seams, and they look like you could pop them, almost like they're made with those giant globe grapes you see in the grocery store, but I don't think they were, because that'd be really tough if they're moving in and then it bursts during camera shoots. This is the master glaze. That sounds like something delicious I want to put on a donut, but we're putting on our cheeks instead. I should have got something that's less natural, but... I really like cheek stains and I thought this is something I could use every day. That's the first time I ever said I wanted something that's less natural. Do I need more blush? This is my face where I check my blush. It's really hard to check blush till you have your lipstick on. Fun fact. Let's slap them eyebrows on. This is a benefit gimme brow dupe. My favorite though were the bad guys because all of them were different. They had their own characteristics. They all looked mutated and weird and diseased and they like held crops and waters from all the people. This is really hard to do with this huge ball tip at the end of it. Imagine if everybody in the movies had to do all of their makeup for the actors with drugstore makeup. They should have that happen sometime. I don't know how it'll come out and no one's gonna wanna do it but me. I'm sure some of the actors would be like, um, let's not. This looks futuristic to me. Maybe it's from the Mad Max. Could we talk about how cool the cars were? There were some cars that were so outrageous and hilarious in this movie. Like they had Corvettes that were double-deckered on top of each other. They blew out not only smoke, but fly fire and flamethrowers. They had like some, I swear they had the people from Cirque du Soleil play in this movie. There's this one part on this like marshy land where the crows in the middle of the desert were. And the best part of the movie, there's this sandstorm that comes on. So deadly and dangerous looking. I'm sure it was all computerized. I mean, come on now. But it was like one of the most beautiful things I ever saw in that movie. I feel like my brows are very like want to shout out in your face right now. Like they're very strong. It's this thing. I don't know how I feel about this brow product. Like I'm all for the natural brow that looks a little thicker, but this looks like I haven't like plucked my eyebrows in maybe a couple weeks. Let's move on to this thing that looks deadly and scary. That's a very big eyeliner pencil. We'll see about it. Oh, a chunk of it just like almost fell into my eyeball and on my eyelid. It's scary using new things. That's why you should see this movie too. If you're not into like action movies, just try it. Although it is really, really intense. Hopefully not as intense as my eyebrows look right now. I feel like they look very, very intense. You guys will be the judge. Listen, even though this almost broke off into my actual pupil, I like the eyeliner consistency. I feel like I'm on a TV show of like reviewing movies and like Drugstore makeup on at the same time. The Twilight Zone. We're just a weird TV show that's on like the game show network that no one watches but me. Is it even? I hope. I feel like this is the type of stuff that they could have used on the Mad Max characters because a lot of them had like those dark circles under their eyes and they're just like powdery. Speaking of, the characters that had a lot of white makeup like Nicholas Holt, some of them, they had like very cracked skin and it wasn't even sunbaked. I feel like they did that makeup because logically back if you were like living in the desert for that long, I would think you would need some sort of protection and they probably didn't have sunblock if the world's about it and they don't care about about that so they just paint themselves with like grease Charlize Theron a lot of people are already suggesting that I do makeup of her but it's so freaking boring her makeup is just like a standard natural look with like she takes like the grease from her car and just swipes it over her bald head and I'm just like <laughs> it's so kind of boring she has some bruises and stuff but okay just do like bald cap puffy eye and grease on my face Challenge me more, please. It's not easy to do a ball cap by no means, but it just sounds like not enough steps. Like, okay, the video will be done in like three minutes, guys. Okay, what I don't like about the eyeliner is that when I close my eyes, it's transferring to the bottom water line. 
do this taupey color. I mean, everything looks like taupe in this palette, to be honest with you. It's not terrible. It's just like they're all blending and powdering into each other. I can't even tell what's the darkest color anymore. It's not looking terrible, though. I have to, I have to give myself that credit. This stuff, like blending this out to your brow, it's a nightmare and a half with this powdery of eyeshadow. Yeah, I don't, I don't like this eyeshadow. I mean, it looks okay on, but it's just like if you tap it wrong, it's gonna smear all over your foundation. It's not bad. I just hope it doesn't look like some grungy, dirty man from Mad Max and actually like a female who's trying to do a smoky eye. I wonder if like the men on movies have to have their eyelashes curled and they're like, what are you putting? What type of piece of equipment are you putting near my eyeball so close? Guys must think we are so weird. Let's put pencils like right on our eyelid about to stab ourselves if we sneeze. Let's pluck our eyebrows and then draw them back in. Let's make our lips look like beet red, like we just burnt them. Let's smoke out our eyes to make it look like we just put our eyelids next to like a car exhaust. Oh no, we got fallout, fallout alert. Get a clean brush. They're just freckles that make gray marks on your face. Now let's go on to the lashes. This is the Ardell Natural. I got everything natural, but these don't look natural to me. Anything that isn't natural that you glue to your eyes doesn't look or feel natural to me. Another reason why you need to watch Mad Max is it makes you think about what your real passion in life and what you're trying to fight yourself to accomplish in your life. Five years later, still blowing for the duo glue to get tacky. Oh, and my favorite part of Mad Max 2 was uh, the strategy on how they fought. Oh my goodness, it was like teamwork to the max. There's like so many moments where they could have had a romantic storyline. The director's like, you know what? Nope. Ooh, that looks pretty. Whenever I put on fake eyelashes, I feel like clockwork orange. Putting on eyelashes is like some ninja. This came out actually better than the other eye. Now the part I'm looking forward to most is this. Ooh. It's like a doe foot applicator from the Matrix. It's like bent and stuff. I'm sorry guys, I can't talk while I put the lips on. Ooh, it smells like cherries. Love it. We'll see how it flies though. This is so hard because you have to like do it precisely. This you can't mess up on. Lip line level expert. It smells like sherbet ice cream. I feel like if I talk too much, I'm gonna really mess this up though. Ooh, it's like sticky. Maybe that's what the conditioning goes for next. This actually is not looking half bad. And I thought it was gonna be. Okay, do I let it dry? Let's look at the instructions. I've never had so many instructions just for a lip color. Allow it to dry completely for two minutes. I'll come back. Two minutes pass because we're gonna condition our lips. Ooh, it's like gives it a glossy effect because I have to admit that color like dried out my lips like I was living on that desert for Mad Max. See the bottom look compared to the top? I don't know if you could tell, but it's like a lot shinier. Ew, it's like Hollywood glam though. It says you can reapply the conditioning. I wonder if this really dries out your lips. That's why they say that. It must have dried because it's not like transferring red onto this. Apparently this lip color like lasts through the night. That's why I want to try it. It's like 24 hour. I don't know who has their lipstick on for 24 hours unless you're working on a different kind of job. I like it though. But I think we are done with our makeup look for now. Ugh. Let me not eat my hair. Like reposition the hair. I have to admit the brows in person look a lot stronger than they do on camera. I just took a selfie. I don't recommend the texture of the eyeshadows, but the colors are good and they're really good for a quick smoky eye. I actually really love this lip color. It's like a great burgundy almost red and it has a little bit of shine to it and that is the 24 hour super stay i don't know if this stays on for that long but we'll just have to see i'll have to test it out later what i really do love the most out of all the makeup products i tried today is the foundation the maybelline fit me and the maybelline fit me concealer this is an actual dupe the nars creamy concealer i haven't worn it like i said just in this video not throughout the day but the consistency creases little less than the NARS Creamy Concealer. I actually like this. It dries to more of a, not total powder, but I can't explain it. It settles into the, oh, wait. Maybe I didn't powder well enough under it. But this powder is pretty good too. The cheek stain's pretty good. Everything's pretty, looks pretty decent, in my opinion. What do you guys think? So I hope you guys like this look. 
I hope I didn't talk your ear off talking too much about Mad Max, but I cannot tell you how much I love this movie. If you're into car racing, if you're into intense, high energy movies, if you're into movies about the end of the world or the earth, if you're into movies that are about fantasy and just into special effects makeup, you would love this movie. It is just so great. Leave me a comment down below if you've seen this movie and if you have or if you have not, if you want to see it. Also tell me what makeup you would like to see from this movie. I hope I have another princess coming up and I hope I have time to do a Mad Max makeup. If you guys would love to see that, I would love to do one. <sighs> I cannot tell you how much inspiration this movie gives me. Probably talked too much about it already. But I had so much fun hanging out with you guys. You've been requesting this video for a while now. All you moms out there who want to just like grab a couple items at the drugstore for a night out with your husband or some girls for your boyfriends or a date night or even just to go on a girls night out just to get glammed up to maybe go out with your friends. Thank you guys for spending some time with me today and I will see you soon in another video. Love you all. Bye.